Today I'm going to talk about uh, this new feature in uh, Jira Cloud where when you create a new project, you get an option to create a project of uh, something like uh, next gen. And uh, let me show you what I mean because this is something that I have never tried and I believe it's a, it's a new feature that was released in uh, September uh, or maybe somewhere around September this year in uh, 2018. So when you are logged into your cloud instance and you try to create a new project by going to the uh, uh, project section and when you click on the create project button on the top right corner, you have two options now. One is a classic project and the other one is uh, try a next gen project. I have no idea how it works and uh, I do know about this new feature because I read some uh, some blog on uh, on the community. So if I show you the community page, uh, there is a mention of uh, everything you want to know about uh, next gen projects in Jira Cloud. And uh, I believe, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big article uh, that was released on uh, 18th of September this year in uh, 2018. But uh, if you if you read the whole article, it is uh, talking about what exactly is this uh, new Jira next gen project. But basically, it means that uh, any any user in Jira cloud can now create uh, a project and manage its own configurations. I'm not sure how, it's, how exactly it will work. It seems like they want to give this uh, authority to every user to create and work on their own project. And I'm not sure how exactly it will work because I've never tried it. And today I want to actually try it uh, myself. And uh, uh, let us now create a new project. So if I go back to my cloud instance and if I now uh, click on try our next gen project, let us see how it uh, goes. So we need to first select a template. So I have an option to create uh, a Kanban based project or I, I'm sure I can also change the uh, change the uh, template to let us say Scrum. So when I when I'm trying to select uh, Scrum, of course, I can select the uh, Scrum type, but uh, I was wondering whether this particular feature is uh, only available with Jira software because I don't see any other templates. So let me go back to the article and uh, and I'm not sure if it says uh, software. So if I try to search for software keyword on this particular uh, page wh where we have the details of this particular next gen uh, type of projects, I think, or it seems like it is only for uh, software based projects, but I'll probably uh, uh, confirm and I'll probably figure uh, figure it out uh, later and I'll probably update you guys. But it seems like that this particular feature uh, is uh, only there for Jira software cloud, not really for, for uh, Jira core and I'm not really sure about Jira service desk. It won't make sense to have this kind of a project for Jira service desk application. So let me go back to my uh, cloud instance and let us select Scrum and uh, let us try to give this particular uh, project a name. So I'll probably write uh, Ravi's personal project. So this is my project name and I need to select something like access so it says open which is recommended and it says anyone with access to this particular instance can create and edit issues and we have limited then uh, we have private so it seems like uh, uh, we have some authority to select the permission level for uh, this next gen project and let me see what we have in advance so again uh, nothing uh, different it is just about uh, the uh, the project key that you can probably uh, uh, define here. And I'm not sure whether this particular project key will interfere with, with the other projects in Jira. It seems like this particular, uh, this particular uh, key is unique to personal next gen projects, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. So we can probably uh, figure it out later, but for the time being, I can just quickly create a new project. And if I click on the create button, the project is getting uh, created on my cloud instance. Let us see how it goes. I'll probably wait for a few minutes or a few seconds, hopefully not really few minutes. 
So now we have uh, this new next gen uh, project and on top it says hi Ravi Sagar you are on the new Jira software experience which we are adding features to every day. Take a tour or dismiss. Uh, shall I take a tour? Maybe not. I think I'm fine uh, uh, finding my own way. So I'll just dismiss this and on top of course I can see a roadmap uh, which I believe is something to do with uh, creating some kind of a plan but I can see a familiar backlog and since I selected that uh, scrum template so I believe uh, I can now work on this particular project by creating my own sprints and uh, of course I can create a new issue in my backlog. Let us, let, let us create a couple of issues very quickly. So this is my issue number one then issue number two and of course these are stories so story one story two and uh, i can probably create a sprint out of it so if i create a sprint and if i probably add uh, most of the items i can then um, uh, work on my sprint and i'm just wondering why i can't start my sprint it says can be planned but not started until the completion of above active sprint okay so i think we have to first add the issues in the sprint which is already there for us that was the empty sprint uh, empty sprint so i'll probably i'll probably add some items in the sprint which is uh sprint number one uh that was added for us uh, by default which is of course empty but i can now click on the start sprint so it seems like uh, uh, a typical scrum based uh, project and if i try to start the sprint i have to select my duration start date uh, and of course my sprint goal so pretty much a standard uh, feature if we do a comparison of this particular project the next gen project uh, with our uh, normal scrum based project in jira software so it looks good and uh, uh, let me go back to the uh, project roadmap and let us see what exactly we have in the roadmap section here so if i click on the first tab in my project sidebar which is uh, right now roadmap let us see how it works so it says uh, communicate your plan there is uh, some kind of uh, uh, of of, of a tour i'll probably skip through it i don't want to worry about uh, this particular uh, instructions i'll probably figure it out myself so on this particular roadmap i need to first define my epic so let us now create a couple of epics let us say we are trying to create some kind of a mobile app for android and maybe um, maybe ios and maybe i need to also create some uh, epic for let us say my platform and apis so when i create these epics it is actually creating or giving me some timelines on the right hand side and i believe i should be able to move them which is correct i can now move them on uh, this particular uh, board it looks good and i think it's a it, it's a it's a good feature because uh, uh, in jira out of the box you don't really have uh, easy way to visualize your plan and i can see here that uh, we have some dates so we have the start date and we have the end date and i believe we can also change the duration of each and every epic and i believe when we add more items to the epic we can also plan uh, uh, them more uh, more granularly we can probably ha have some story that would added to this epic and if i click on this particular epic uh, which is my android i can see here a typical uh, issue detail view and uh, of course i can change the status but i, I like the idea of uh, of the epics listed here but i'm not sure if we can also have uh, stories on the roadmap but uh, it seems like we can definitely add uh, only epic but we, we can of, co of course figure out uh, later on so let us go back to the project and uh, worry about uh, how we can add items to the epic we have a couple of uh, stories in uh, in the in the backlog and also in the active sprint so let me try to work on uh, on my on my uh, uh, backlog view so on top i have the filter that says uh, different epics but how do i add these uh, these these uh, these individual uh, items which are my stories to these uh, epics on top that we defined 
I'm not sure, maybe because usually you have the option to drag them on the right hand side or on the left hand side to the individual uh, epics. I believe I need to click on the actual issue and then I need to uh, maybe go to the uh, option here on top. Yes, we have the option to add this particular uh, uh, issue, which I believe is story to my uh, epic. So let me do it for the first issue. Let me add it to API and I'll probably do it uh, very quickly for the rest of them. It is all right, but I prefer the drag and drop approach. Uh, but, uh, but I guess uh, eventually it should work. So we can definitely add these uh, items, these stories to the epics that we defined in the roadmap. So I guess you would first start with your roadmap where, where you will uh, define different epics. And then, of course, when you are planning your activity in the black backlog view, when you add uh, items to your backlog or maybe when you do the planning of your sprint, you can always uh, add these, uh, uh, these, these stories to specific epics. If I go back to my roadmap view, let us see how it looks. Uh, do we have any other, uh, any other way to see the breakup of those, uh, those um, epics? So I don't see any difference here. It, it, it seems like it is more like a visualization. And if I click on the uh, epic uh, here, I, I don't really think we have the ability to further see the breakup of all the issues under under my specific epic. But when I click on a specific epic, I do have the option to add a child issue, which is good. If I click on it, I can probably uh, uh, create a couple of items. Let us say we, I want to add uh, my child one and maybe my child uh, two. So it seems like uh, when we add this uh, child here, it is actually creating a story. And uh, we can see here that we have two stories added here, RPP9 and RPP10. If I go back to my backlog, I should be able to see these stories. So it's a good feature because uh, when you're working on an, on an epic, you can directly uh, work on uh, on your stories and you can add them within your epic and i believe the link will be added for you because eventually these issue types are different in jira and uh, and you can now manage them from the backlog and you can see here that uh, both child one and child two are added to my android epic which is good which is fine but i'm still missing my 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 uh, epic uh, sidebar on the left hand side where I can simply drag and drop my stories. So let us now take a look at uh, what is this option called uh, uh, add item. So I believe it is nothing but a link uh, which is uh, fine. We can add a link to our repository or we can just add I believe uh, uh, some web page. So we have the option here uh, to uh, add some links and I'm interested in looking at the project settings because I just want to see how the project settings will uh, will work because I'm sure there is a workflow in the background and as a normal user can I can I modify the workflow can I modify the issue type so the moment I open the project settings I can see first of all my uh, my details and the only thing that I can do is I can change the access from open to private or limited which I believe is fine because you don't want to bother the user a normal user uh, and you don't want to give him the ability or him or her the ability to uh, to work on the permission schemes. So this looks fine. I think it makes sense. If I go back to the section here on the left hand side, I can also add uh, people in my uh, in my in my account. And if I click on uh, my issue type, I can definitely add more issue types here. There is an option to add issue type, but I can also add some more fields. And I believe. Uh, we have the option to select these fields on the on the right hand side. Let me add a drop down and I, I don't know how it will work, whether it will create uh, a new field. It seems like we are creating a new field. Let us say we create a new field called uh, category and uh, we have a couple of options that we can add here. We can have option one or maybe, you know, let us make it more, uh, more uh, professional. Let us add uh, a field like client maybe. And uh, let us say we are working for a couple of clients like Google and uh, Microsoft. So we can add few more fields, but I'm worried about whether these fields will be added in the in, in the instance of Jira, like globally. 
Uh, it seems like it will be, but I'm not sure. Maybe these uh, fields are separate from uh, normal Jira custom fields because we can add more fields of the same type. So I'm letting my end user add uh, uh, add uh, fields, custom fields in Jira, which I'm not sure if it is a good idea or uh, it makes sense because custom fields is one of the biggest uh, reason for bad performance. So let me add one more uh, one more uh, custom field here. Uh, which is let us say country. So if I add maybe uh, India as an option, maybe USA and maybe UK. So let us add a couple of countries. Uh, and by the way, we are adding these fields in Epic. We can also, I believe, add these fields uh, when we go to story. So this looks good because you are letting your, oh no, I think I forgot to save my, uh, my, my fields that I've added in uh, Epic, let me add it very quickly. So I, I add a uh, field called client and uh, Microsoft and Google. I think I need to click on the save changes and let me add, uh, okay, so now the field is added. Let me add one more field of, uh, of same type, which is drop down, and the name was country. My country name is uh, India and USA, maybe one more, let us add a UK and then we'll uh, save the changes. So I think we can have, we can have more custom fields in the project, but I'm not sure whether it is a good idea or a bad idea. So we can add more custom fields and we can also add new issue types. And we are also letting uh, the user to add a new uh, issue type in the, in the project. I think I know the reason why. I think I am logged in as an admin and that is why I have the ability to add uh, uh, the, the the custom fields and uh, new issue types, but I'll probably figure it out. But uh, I think it's, it's a good idea. It seems like uh, Atlassian is smart. If I log in as a normal user, I don't think I should get the option to add a, add a new custom field or create new issue types but I'll probably create one more video where I will, uh, I will, uh, I will show you whether this is uh, also possible for a normal user without any admin rights. So let us go back to the uh, project settings and uh, we have one more option here called features. And in the features, we can enable uh, things like roadmap, backlog, sprints, reports, estimation, and Pages. I believe this will make sense when you have Confluence also added to your cloud instance and the user has access to work on Confluence. So I think it seems like a good idea to have the, the ability to create the personal projects in, uh, in Jira. Uh, one thing which I need to confirm is whether the normal user will be able to add new issue types and also add new uh, custom fields, which I will figure out uh, later. I'll probably create a new video, but overall it seems like uh, like a good feature. Uh, I'm not sure about the performance impact because if you're letting everyone uh, create uh, uh, create projects in, uh, in Jira, in your instance, uh, maybe it could impact uh, uh, the overall performance of your cloud instance. So I think uh, we need to wait and watch and uh, and I hope you like the video. Thank you very much.